All right. Thank you for joining me, everyone. This is BI Basics, creating SSIS data profiling task in SQL Server. Uh, you're watching this on YouTube, but you may have found it through my website, anthonysmoke.com. So the tools we're going to be using today are SQL Server 2016 Management Studio. Uh, I've got Express Edition uh, installed for local data storage. We're going to use SQL Server Data Tools 2015. That's where we're going to create our SSIS package. And SQL Server 2016 Profiler, that's how we're going to view the XML file uh, that is created uh, that's going to contain uh, our results. And so the tip of the day is data profiling should be established as a best practice for every data warehouse, BI, and data migration project. You want to have that base level understanding of your data before you go off and start developing or handing it off to someone else to make decisions. So let's get right into this. I've got SQL Server Data Tools open. First thing I want to do is create a connection to my database. And so I've got a local... SQL Server Express running. Copy that in there. And then I'm going to select uh, my database. We're going to test the connection. That sounds like a winner. We're good. I'm going to say OK. So now I've got a connection to uh, a SQL Server a database. And the next thing I'm going to do here is create a new project. I want to make sure it's an integration services project. We can call it, uh, you know, it doesn't matter what you call it. Uh, find a location. We're going to say OK. It's going to crank for a little bit. Oh, it came right up. That's great. I'm going to get rid of this right here so it'll reveal my data profiling task. I'm going to drag my data profiling task in. As you can see, I've got this circle here. So that means we are not good to go. Uh, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to edit. And the first thing I'm going to do is make a file connection because we have to output our data somewhere. I'm going to make a new file connection. I'm going to say create a file. And then, you know, you can browse to where you want uh, want the output to go. I'm just going to throw it on my desktop, and we're going to call it uh, output.xml, right? Good enough. I'll say OK. That's fine. Now, our profile request, right? This is where the magic happens, right? I can pick all these different profile types. There's a candidate key profile request. Here, let's just pick that. Um, I'm going to pick the uh, the length. I'm going to pick uh, nulls, I'm going to pick statistics, and uh, value distribution, right? So there's all these different types. Now, the only drawback is, well, you have to create a connection manager because you have to tell it uh, which database to go to. And again, um, pick my local database. I'm going to pick uh, uh, the database here. We're going to test the connection. That sounds good. We're going to say OK. Now I have to... Uh, select which uh, database table there's only one and then I'm gonna select star because I want I want to run it on all of the columns right and so now I have to repeat this process I wish there was a way to mass update if, if someone knows of a way uh, hit me in the comments um, all right we're gonna do that I'm gonna go here and it's just rinse and uh, repeat across uh, every type of profile that you want to uh, look at. And again, we're going to select our star here. Now in value distribution, here I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it here in a second once I get through this, uh, the tediousness. Now you can see here that there is a, a frequent values and a, and a threshold. So if, if I say uh, frequent values is a threshold that you have to give, and it won't show every value. It'll only show values uh, above this threshold. So I'm going to say all values. I want to see all values matter, right? We're going to say OK. Now I've got a data profiling task, and I do not have uh, that red circle. So I can go in here. I can say start, and hopefully this package will run uh, correctly. I got the green check, so that is good. So now we can just go take a look at our data and I save this to the uh, desktop oh actually I could have gone here we're gonna go into edit and we're gonna say open profile viewer and our results are right there so you can see with the candidate key profile uh, our key strength these two columns uh, would make good candidate keys for primary key uh, our column length as you can see uh, there are fields that have zero minimum length uh, to, to three here on that first one. And I have all these different uh, values, zero to 25. I can click on something and I can see 
okay, zero length, there's, uh, what's that, 1,430, 1,434 for this percentage. Again, I can, I can just go down and, and look at all of the data and gain some insights for nulls. I don't have any fields that have nulls, so that's, that's good, good or bad. Um, this is a statistics profile. So for these two columns, again, this only works on numbers. So for these two columns, you can see I have a minimum value here and a maximum value. Here's the mean standard deviation. And column value uh, distribution, again, for, for each of these fields, um, you can see that the value is here. And then I've got a count of uh, how, you know, what that distribution looks like uh, for that field. If I go to cert, you'll see that since I picked all values, I'm returning, you know, every value with a count of one. Now, if I would have uh, left it in, um, if I would not have picked uh, all values, I would have had that threshold of, you know, 0 0.0001 and nothing would have showed here because nothing is above uh, that, that threshold. So anyway, that's uh, data profiling in a nutshell. And I thank you for watching my video.